Today the market is red, and the price of Bitcoin is trading in a tight range, and seems like it may break below $18,000 at any time, so if you want to hear the news and my analysis, stay tuned. Let's take a look at the Bitcoin news. First off there is bad news for short-term traders. According to this article, the Bitcoin miners' position index is at an all-time high, and this means many miners are selling off their Bitcoins. So does that mean it will keep falling? In the long term, no. Bitcoin may fall to the $17,000 area however it will rise. Bitcoin is currently in an accumulation period, where bag holders and fearful traders sell off their Bitcoin, while other traders buy more into Bitcoin as it dips, and that is also what you should do. In other news France is strengthening their cryptocurrency regulations to prevent money laundering by banning anonymous crypto accounts. However, the French government does acknowledge the opportunities with cryptocurrency, and therefore their regulations will be focusing on taking away the anonymity of cryptocurrencies, which may not be a big problem for those who are just investing in cryptocurrency. Now let us look at the price of Bitcoin. Bitcoin seems a little bearish right now and is trading in this downward channel. However, this is a traditional accumulation period, and I wouldn't be surprised if the price dumped to $17,000. Nonetheless it should be dumping, while many take profit however, this is a great opportunity to buy the dip, before it attempts the $20,000 resistance area, where it hopefully breaks through. Now let's take a look at Ethereum. The price of Ethereum has fallen as well, and is also trading in somewhat of a cup and handle formation. With many people staking Ethereum and expecting greatness from Ethereum 2.0, it should only be going up after the accumulation period. As for where the price could fall to, the $500 area is a great support level, and if Ethereum happens to dump to that level, I expect a resurgence in price. Moving on to Ripple, I think it can dump to 0.053. In the past week Ripple has seen a lot of volume, which has resulted in these weird-looking candles, however, this also looks like a cup and handle formation, so once again, by the dip. I would advise to use the average daily range indicator for those who are scalping Ripple, since it is likely you may get wigged out. Lastly, I want to remind you once again, protect your trades and practice risk management.